Hello, this is Devin Lockett, uh, once again from the Biometrics Health Center with another holistic health tip. Actually, it's the combination of a couple of holistic health tips. I'm going to be um, talking about how to best combine the use of monatomic gold with Moldavite. Okay, so I got a lot of emails from different um, people that uh, watch the channel asking me about the combinations and they're uh, wondering how can you combine monatomic gold, which is a supplement that you take right um, in your mouth, basically with Moldavite, which is a uh, tectite. Some people call it a crystal, but it's a tectite. Uh, but monatomic gold and Moldavite are very, very closely related as far as I'm concerned uh, because they're both very transformational. They both help you to move forward in your life and to really get your stuff together, okay? And I really uh, believe that if you really want to um, move forward in your life, if you want to advance your life, uh, get your stuff together, as they say, um, <clears throat> stop procrastinating, uh, stop sabotaging yourself, um, kind of uh, move on to develop your higher self, right? Move on to um, your higher purpose in life. Then I do recommend combining the use of monatomic gold with Moldavite, with wearing Moldavite. If you just got a piece of Moldavite, then you should very quickly purchase some uh, either Ethereum gold or Ormus monatomic gold. And if you just started using Ormus, then I highly recommend that you go out and purchase a piece of Moldavite, okay? Uh, because there is a lot of synergy between the uh, effects of both, the effects of uh, Moldavite and Monatomic Gold. Moldavite, I made a video about Moldavite uh, before, which is called the Life-Changing Tectite, and you can uh, see that if you click right here. Uh, so I'm not gonna really go too much into Moldavite, uh, except for the fact that it is a uh, it is part of the remains of a uh, meteor or a meteorite that struck in uh, Bavaria some 15 million years ago uh, near the Moldau River, and uh, it is a very high energy tectite um, that helps you to uh, transform your life. It opens your your mind to truths that may have been hidden from you, and uh, it's it's very good. It gives you good. Uh, completion energy. It gives you uh, good work energy. Uh, it's uh, it's very good. It's very good for transforming your life. I do recommend that you see my video on Moldavite as well as uh, the other video that you see here on YouTube about Moldavite. Now, monatomic gold. Um, I also did a video about monatomic gold. And if you click right here, you can see that video. Uh, once again, I'm not going to go too much into depth about um, the benefits of monatomic gold. It, uh, it has many, many um, spiritual properties as well as physical benefits. But I'd like to refer you to the old video, the previous video, so that you could see um, the benefits of uh, monatomic gold. But monatomic gold does uh, give you greater insight, greater mental clarity. It gives you a greater sense of intuition. Okay, and um, Moldavite has a tendency to create coincidences in your life and uh, to give you a good internal energy to take advantage of those uh, situations as well. So I want to give you 20. I've got 20 tips um, for you if you would like to embark upon combining monatomic gold with Moldavite, okay? There are 20 things that I think you should do or you should consider in order to prepare yourself uh, for this experience as well as um, in order to um, follow through with the experience more, uh, more effectively, okay? So first, I'd like to say you should write down your intentions, okay? You should sit down and write down what is it you want to do? Where am I in my life? Where do I want to go in my life? What do I see that's wrong in my life? How can I fix it? Okay, write down your intentions before you even start taking Moldavite. You should also create um, a vision board. I think this is just, these are just my suggestions. Okay, number two, you should create a vision board. 
uh, vision board and there are a lot of videos here on, on YouTube that you can find uh, to find out how to make a vision board. So go through some magazines and uh, or go online and just uh, get pictures, download pictures, download pictures of the things that you want uh, to create, images of the things that you want to create and manifest in your life and put them together on a vision board and put them up. Okay, because you're embarking upon a, a really important journey in life uh, evolution with Moldavite and Monatomic Goal together, uh, Ormus uh, together. You should uh, confess and atone. I'm a Catholic, so I have the benefit of being able to uh, practice the um, sacrament of reconciliation. Uh, but uh, if you have anything that's bothering you, if you need to separate yourself from behaviors that you have committed that you know are out of character for yourself, uh, you need to apologize to some people, you need to atone some relationships, those things are good to do, right, before you um, start taking monatomic gold and before you uh, indulge in a relationship with your first piece of Moldavite. Okay, you should also atone with um, your ancestors. You know, I know, you know, a lot of people uh, say, oh, well, you know, my dad was an asshole or, uh, you know, he left or my mom was this and my bad dad was that or my grandfather this and my grandmother that. Listen, if you don't come to terms with the people whose DNA resides inside your body, you're never going to go very far in life at all, okay? You need to love yourself and you need to love who and where you came from, regardless of who those individuals are. You're gonna to have to figure out a way uh, to bestow blessings upon those who have blessed you with life, ultimately. Uh, so that's very good, that's very important. Um, four, I would say you should fast. I recommend uh, doing a water fast or a juice fast, but uh, you should fast. Give your body a chance to uh, process all of the toxins that are inside your, your body. Get rid of all of that. Get rid of all of that bad karma, uh, especially if you're eating meats. You know, uh, intelligent mammals can sense their own impending death. And so uh, when those animals are slaughtered, the fear and stress that was existing inside of that animal is now inside the meat and you eat that meat and you pick up that fear and stress just fast and get all of that out of your system and prepare yourself uh cleanse yourself so that you can take uh moldavite and monatomic gold and get the benefits remember uh these energies are very sublime they're very subtle um but very profound you have to be clean and you have to be ready spiritually and physically uh, to embark upon this journey of self-discovery. Um, five, I would say you should sauna and sweat. If you have access to a gym that has a sauna, you should by all means get in the sauna and sweat. Drink a lot of water and purge all of the toxins that you can out of your body with sauna and sweat. I also recommend taking some harataki. Harataki is good for purging out uh, toxins as well. Um, six, you should embrace a vegan diet. Now, I'm not a vegan. I'm not a 100% vegan, but on most days, um, I only eat trail mix. I only eat nuts and fruits and uh, raw uh, vegan foods. I may indulge in meat once or twice in the period of a week or two weeks. So I'm not going to say I am a vegan, but because I keep a clean diet, mostly vegan diet, um, I am able to uh, keep myself centered uh, spiritually. And um, like I said before about the fear and the stress in the uh, blood of the animals, um, this is very important for you to pay attention to. And it's going to really help you to maximize the subtle energy that you're going to be getting from your Moldavite as well as from the monatomic gold. Um, seven, stay well hydrated. You should definitely drink a lot of water. You should stay well hydrated. Uh, Ormus does have a tendency to make you go to the bathroom. It has a little bit of a diur diuretic property to it, so it will make you... Uh, pee and it will make you lose water, lose hydration. Um, so you want to make sure that you stay well hydrated throughout this whole journey. Eight, 
Um, this is a big one. No fap. That's right. No fap. Um, guys, you are wasting your life essence while you are wasting your semen and sperm masturbating. So don't masturbate. You should definitely embrace a no fat lifestyle because um, you should allow your life essence, your energy to build up. Okay. As these uh, spermatozoa replenish themselves inside your body, your body's, uh, your chi, your life essence is becoming stronger and stronger. And if you waste your time in the psychic garbage of pornography, especially, and if you waste your time in the physical activity of blowing your sexual energy without a purpose, without a cause, then you're really going to be hurting yourself, especially with reference to relationships, because women can tell um, when a man is capable of reproducing and a man is most capable of reproducing when he is not masturbating and wasting his supply of semen and sperm. I'm just putting it out there. So no fat. If you want to make the most of your Moldavite and um, a monatomic gold or Ormus experience, don't waste your energy on uh, masturbation and pornography. No fat. Okay. Uh, nine. You should reserve some daily alone time, okay? Everyone should have some time in the day where they're absolutely alone. You should practice some sort of meditation, okay? Um, mine is the first thing in the morning. I like to give the most important time of the day to myself, right? So I start the day with a little bit of brain training, right? Some audiovisual brain entrainment, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, and then I go into uh, neurofeedback. I'm at, uh, either doing um, peak performance neurofeedback, which is the um, high gamma synchrony range, or alpha theta neurofeedback, uh, incorporating self-hypnosis tapes um, or audio files. But at any rate, this is how I start the day. I start the day off with my version of meditation, and I believe that that's that's very important for uh, very important for this uh, for this journey if you're going to be going on this. Uh, number ten. While we're on the subject of alone time, you should aggregate a collection of self hypnosis audio files, ASMR, binaural beats, isochronic tones, and uh, different audio files. Um, to help you train yourself um, spiritually as, as well as mentally. Um, this is a very good thing. Number 11, you should also build a library of self-help books. Self-help books kind of bleed over into uh, philosophy. So I'm not going to recommend which self-help books to get because uh, everyone's different. I mean, some people need... Uh, uh, Melody Beattie's Codependency, uh, Codependence Anonymous books. Some people need um, books that are dealing with recovery from addiction and alcoholism. Some people prefer to study the universal principles or the comedic principles. Um, some people study philosophy. I would recommend, if you're going to look into philosophy, to look into Ayn Rand and the philosophy of rational objectivism. Um, it's helped me to clear out a lot of cobwebs. In, uh, in my thinking uh, during my upbringing. Um, so, but that's just me. But I definitely recommend you build a library of uh, self help books, um, books that uh, help you to evolve and uh, help yourself emotionally and spiritually. Number 12, you should definitely maintain two journals one being a daily journal and the other being a dream journal. So you should uh, maintain a daily journal of uh, your thoughts, like a diary, right? Of your thoughts and your beliefs, um, how you are evolving as a person, how you are reevaluating things that you uh, once held uh, to be true, how you're going through paradigm shifts in your life. Um, so you should definitely keep a journal to monitor these things and to uh, organize your thoughts in your own head with words. And you should also keep another journal next to the bed for your dreams. Because with what you're doing with Moldavite and Ormus, you're going to be having lucid dreams. You're going to be having dreams that will help you uh, sort out uh, problems in your life and uh, continue to evolve, right? This is the effect of Moldavite and especially combined with uh, Ormus. So 
You want to be able to record your dreams when you first wake up while they're still fresh in your head because these dreams are going to help you to um, figure things out, to sort things out in your life. Okay, so keep a dream journal as well as a daily journal. Um, number 13. Stop drinking. Stop getting high. Stop using alcohol and drugs. You have to keep your body pure because this is a very important phase that you're going through. Uh, Moldavite is pushing you forward to your higher self and um, monatomic gold is helping you to see things more clearly. The Ormus is helping you to understand things more clearly. So you need to take advantage of this greater awareness as well as this greater insight and don't uh, don't poison yourself with toxins, with alcohol and drugs. Uh, it's just going to take you that much longer. You're not going to get much good out of it. Okay, so leave the drugs alone, leave the weed alone, leave the alcohol alone, leave it all alone. All right. Um, when you go to bed at night, number fourteen, you should uh, start producing the lucid dreaming formula. The lucid dreaming formula is harataki plus melatonin plus DMSO. So you take a spoon, and I already have a little batch mixed here. You take a spoon, you put a DMSO, you put uh, a um, harataki, I mean, uh, you take a spoon, you put harataki in it, uh, you depress a uh, melatonin pill into the harataki on the spoon, and then you uh, drip DMSO so that the DMSO soaks up the melatonin, soaks into the melatonin as well as into the harataki powder. And you leave that set, like I have this spoon setting, you leave that set until it soaks in. And then before you go to bed, you take a, you take the whole thing. The uh, melatonin is going to help your brain to release serotonin, help you get a good night's sleep. It also promotes lucid dreaming. Um, the oxygen that is being uh, introduced to your blood through the harataki. The harataki raises the oxygen level in your blood 300 to 400%. Um, that also promotes lucid dreaming. So during this period, uh, you should definitely be taking the lucid dreaming formula. Um, also, you should use the, oh, and the lucid dreaming formula. I made a video about it, so you can probably find that if you click right here. Also, you should uh, take the, you should use the scalp elixir. Scalp elixir is, uh, there's another video I did on scalp elixir, and you can find out about that if you click right here as well. Uh, scalp elixir is made of uh, harataki with DMSO and uh, you smear it on your crown and all over your head before you go to bed. The scalp elixir uh, cleanses the brain, gets rid of the uh, residue from um, the effects of alcohol and drug abuse. It gives you a very uh, profound sense of mental clarity. You're going to also find that uh, you're able to cleanse out your um, sinuses. Uh, from taking the scalp elixir. It just helps you feel uh, better all, over, all the way around. The DMSO increases the permeability of the cell membranes, which um, prevents you from getting blood clots, which can prevent you from having a stroke. So this is very good stuff for the head. Um, scalp elixir, I definitely recommend uh, you take scalp elixir while, you're on this, while you are on this journey. Um, when you go to sleep, you should tape a piece of Moldavite to your third eye and or your crown chakra. Okay, I'm not going to take my chain off right now, my, my necklace off, but um, you take a piece of medical cloth tape, right? You take a piece of your Moldavite and just tape it right here before you go to bed to your third eye chakra. If you have another piece, tape a piece here to your crown chakra, okay? Um, be careful because you don't want it to fall off while you're sleeping and then you lose it. It's lost in the bed or on the floor or whatever. So you got to be very careful. Um, maybe put a cap on or something, a stocking cap or something or do rag or something just to keep it on your head. But um, you would definitely notice a difference between when you sleep with Moldavite taped to your head and when you don't. Okay. In fact, if you spend the night sleeping with Moldavite taped to your head and then take it off, uh, taped to your third eye chakra and then tape it off and lay, lay back down again, lie back down again, you'll find that you can sleep again 
uh, with a, a much deeper sleep. The the energy, right, of Moldavite is definitely going to be detectable uh, if you sleep with it taped to your third eye chakra. Um, 17, you should exercise daily. That's right. Exercise daily. Make the blood circulate. Get the oxygen where it needs to go. Um, you should be exercising daily anyway. OK, but if you're going to go through this transformative period using Moldavite and Ormus together, then you have to exercise daily. Oxygenation of the brain is crucial. OK, so you should exercise every day, um, even though you're eating light and even though you're eating a largely vegan meal uh, diet, you should also take a good vitamin mineral supplement. All right. Um, you're introducing your body to the Ormus elements and you should make sure that there is a good balance of all of the vitamins and minerals that your body needs uh, to function. So uh, drink a lot of water and take some vitamins. OK, uh, now, how do you take your Ormus? You should take it. Number 19, you should take your Ormus in the morning on an empty stomach under the tongue. OK, and if later in the day you feel a crash, then you should take another dose of Ormus. I don't usually get the afternoon crash with uh, the Monatomic Gold, um, the manufactured Ormus. Um, I do experience a little bit of a 3 p.m., 3 to 4 p.m. crash when I take the Ethereum Gold. But um, and the energy between the two, they're both very good, very clear Ormus energy, but it's slightly different. So. I'm not going to say which one is better. I believe that you should uh, experiment and uh, and work with what's best for you. Um, I'm about halfway through this bottle of uh, Monatomic uh, uh, Ormus, uh, Monatomic Gold. But when I run out, I may switch back to Ethereum. The Ethereum powder is uh, useful because the capsules all each contain a perfect, uh, perfectly measured dose. So you can just take one capsule open it and put the powder underneath your tongue, uh, which is how I recommend taking it. Um, but yeah, you should uh, definitely take it in the morning on an empty stomach and maybe later on if you crash in the afternoon. All right, now the last and final uh, recommendation I have for those uh, who are on uh, the uh, trip, the journey of improving your health and your life, uh, with Ormus and Monoatomic Gold is to get to bed early. Get to bed early, get your sleep. You have to get to bed early, you have to protect your sleep, okay? Um, I can't really, uh, I can't really stress uh, that enough, okay? So you can't, um, you can't introduce the energies of Ormus and Monoatomic Gold without making sure that you have enough rest, all right? So be well hydrated, eat a clean diet, Drink a lot of water, get a lot of sleep. Okay, that's uh, that's 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 uh, all I can say as far as that's concerned. Now, I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have any experience with the suggestions that I'm making here, uh, by all means, please comment in the uh, comments below and let us know how that uh, turned out for you. I'm really curious as to find out what your results were. Uh, well, that's all I have to say about this video. I hope you have a uh, good experience combining uh, Moldavite with um, Ormus or Monatomic Gold. Um, if you'd like to purchase some good merch, we have uh, two merchandise catalogs on Teespring. I'm going to put the, uh, the links right here so you can check them out. If you would like to uh, contribute some monetary support to Biometrics TV, you can become a patron on our Patreon channel patreon.com forward slash biomedrx tv and patreon.com forward slash devin lockett and um if you like this video please remember to hit the like button comment share and subscribe to biomedrx tv as well as to my devin lockett channel and as always i would like everyone to stay kind because kind is the new sexy stay blessed and stay healthy Thank you for watching Biomed RX TV.